the top b-boys in the world have come to Los Angeles, California to test their skill and creativity in one of the most groundbreaking b-boy battle events to hit the scene. They'll need total focus to make it through three precision timed rounds with never before seen challenges. Who will have the hearts and will be the last one standing? We're about to find out. Welcome to the arena. Son here with my co-host Flips. What hey, up? Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Angela and I are so excited to be here at the LA Convention Center for D Studio with our partners, World of Dance, to bring you this epic event. So if you're new to the B-Boy world like I am, or even if you've been in the game as long as Flips has, you're in for a real treat because the arena isn't any ordinary B-Boy battle competition. That's right, Angela. We got some hot tricks up our sleeves. Here's the rundown. Check it out. Each battle consists of four time rounds three freestyle and one challenge round. The challenge will be indicated by a light shape in the center of the floor. Each shape tests one of the three breaking fundamentals. A triangle indicates footwork. A square, rockin'. Circle, power. The more they show their mastery of the fundamentals, the more they will score with the judges. Three of the leading experts in breaking history. Break it started in the Bronx around 1973. It was pretty much the folk dance for the people of the Bronx. It served as a, a way of life for people. It serves as a way of bringing people together. Well, b-boying is the cultural dance of hip-hop. So to really uh, have an understanding of what b-boying is, you have to understand hip-hop. One of the things that people need to take away from this art form that we call breaking is the fact that it has served as a vehicle and a bridge to so many different cultures. It's more than just a dance. It's served as a, a way of communication. And ultimately, it is uh, just one of the great tools that hip hop has given us. The dance consists almost entirely of style. A lot of people don't know that breaking is a dance. You know, they just think it's like some flashy thing, like a gymnastic way of moving to music. It's not. And top rock, floor work, footwork, spins, freezes, all done in a characteristic way. For me, the complete way of, of breaking is to have the foundation, which is the rocking, the footwork, and the power. Other competitions, some of the contestants don't care about that. They care about what they call blow ups, the explosive moves, you know, and that's not going to win a battle all the time. As far as the battles go, there's two big differences for us it's the challenges and uh, the timed rounds. Having challenges will definitely make it more intimidating but more creative. What I really like about it is that they're actually putting the shine on the real b-boys and by saying a real b-boy is someone who has all aspects of the dance. This is going to, in my opinion, enhance the public's understanding of what the dance actually consists of. I'm hoping that people will see a difference and, and, and see what breaking really is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! This is the arena, y'all! Eight of America's top b-boys battling it out for the all-around b-boy competition. Are y'all ready? It's the moment of truth. Our first two b-boy contestants are Morris. B-boy to me is a lifestyle. It's a how you present yourself. It's an attitude. It's a way to express yourself through dance. When I see my opponent, and the first thing that comes through my mind is that he's trying to take something away from me. Like, I'm a strategist when I'm out there. Like, if you mess up, you fall, I'm gonna make fun of you. If you're wearing something tacky, I'm gonna make fun of you, you know? For me, I get a lot of haters. <laughs> like, uh, most of my career, I look at it like I got supported more by the haters than my followers. Like, like I got more people who will watch my videos trying to see me lose than to see me win. So it, it, it's good. It, it's motivation. I look at myself as a jack of all trades. I can do a little bit of everything, so it makes me stand out. It's 2012, I'm um, 28. I got some guys in there in their early 20s. I don't know, I got a lot of emotions. I, I want to prove that I'm still relevant. I want to prove that I'm one of the top guys. So how important is winning? It's, it's everything. Like I feel like history was written by the winners. So I want to win because I want to perform. I'm a dancer. I want, to, I want people to remember me. 
Kid David. B-boying is a dance, first and foremost, but it's something that allows someone to be creative, athletic, and free. A battle is an exchange between two dancers. That's a competitive aspect of the dance. I was attracted to it at first because of, you know, the flash of it. I mean, I b-boy now as a way to, like, stay sane, honestly. It's part of me, you know what I mean? It's part of who I am. And what's cool about b-boying is, you know, it's part of hip-hop, which is a culture, and it's something that you have to live. You live it, you don't just do it. During a battle, I'll have stuff in my head I want to do, and it's like, as soon as I hit the floor, it's like, pew! And I'm just like, looking for things and hearing music and just like doing whatever. There's definitely strategy. As a b-boy in a battle, you have to pay attention to what the other person's doing or you're failing. Musicality is being able to react to sounds and what's going on in the music. You're, you're putting music in physical form. So style is everything. Style defeats technique every time. Ken Swift said that. It's a good quote, I like it. Winning is not important, shining is. Even if you lose in the final battle, you've won if you're the one they're talking about at the end of the night. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Morris, Pollock, heads. Tails, it is tails. So you know what that means, Morris. You go first, Kid David versus Morris. It's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Round one, baby, hit it! seconds to rock it. Up the score. 
score, tallying up the score. In, in a battle like this, when, when the level of expertise is so high, sometimes it's not just about how dope the person is, but those slight little mistakes that are made along the lines. Kid David, I think your, your, your top rock was funkier. It had more character, especially at the beginning. Morris was lacking character at the beginning, but you did go hard on your moves. The difference between the both of you was, I saw Morris mess up once, definitely, slightly, another time. And David had about four or five transitions that were kind of off. I could be wrong, but it's what I saw from my perspective. But again, two warriors, two champions, and um, we'll find out who wins in a little while. Asia won. Yo, I feel like you guys both put forth out there. You know, I saw some looks, but at the end of the day, I saw one side look more polished than the other, so that's what I gotta go for. Abstract. To me, both of y'all did awesome, but there can only be one winner, obviously. Uh, with Morris, you had a lot of strong points. Uh, David, to me, you had a lot of variety and a lot of, like, a lot of style. And that's what a lot of people need to realize that as well. The winner is... Sun. We'll check you next time.